Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at some tactical gloves as advertised by Top Tactical Gear on Facebook. I know, time out. Facebook, hater of free speech and destroyer of all things good in this world, but that's where I found them. At any rate, the gloves are advertised to be anti-slip, impact resistant, sweat absorbent, breathable, quick dry, and wear resistant. Top Tactical Gear boasts that these are made of high quality microfiber material. They are double stitched and have an extra resistant palm area to prevent from getting cuts and all that fun stuff. As we take a look at the surface of the gloves here, you'll notice that we've got this hardened material over the knuckles. If you need to break into something, break through glass, bust through a hard surface, uh, put the top of your hand down on top of a rough surface, this is a really rigid material. It is, it is somewhat flexible, to, but it is still very tough. We've got a similar material coming down each finger here to protect any individual finger from getting hurt as well. Then of course we got a Velcro strap with an adjustable area here to make sure that it fits your wrist just right and has a nice snug feel. Top Tactical Gear also boasts that these are good in both hot and cold weather with breathable holes built in all throughout. They are not a very thick or heavy glove, but they are supposed to protect you from the elements quick dry if they get wet. And they're supposed to be really good for touch surfaces as well, uh, including smartphones so that if you're in the field needing to take answer calls or scroll through screens, uh, you're supposed to be able to do that really well with these. And if you are out in the field hunting or at a range, whatever the case may be in cooler weather, uh, these are supposed to give you enough agility to be able to work with your, uh, your gun, load ammo, all that fun stuff. Now, from watching Top Tactical Gear's video ad on Facebook, you would believe that these things are pretty darn near indestructible. They showed them working uh, with a little bit of fire, being cut by glass, all kinds of crazy things. And uh, that's exactly what we intend to test out today. Now, trying them on for size, there is a sizing chart on Top Tactical Gear's website. They give you measurements for your hands so you know which size to order. I got a medium, just guessing, because most other gloves I've ever used are medium. And I must say, these fit pretty well. I don't really have a ton of extra space in the fingertips. Uh, maybe one finger here and there has a little... Apparently, my ring finger is a little shorter than the average finger here, but thumbs are all good. Uh, they fit well. While they are not super thick, they feel like they would keep you warm, like they're a good solid material in that regard, and they provide a ton of flexibility. You definitely feel that there is a hard material over your knuckles to protect them, but it doesn't really feel bothersome. It doesn't feel like it would get in the way of working or being agile with the equipment that you need to manage. All right, let's put these things through the paces. Okay, test number one, millings. This stuff, no picnic. Little hard, crunchy rocks mixed in with asphalt, and it's just kind of not pleasant. Kind of a very rough surface, very abrasive. Certainly, if you try to hit this stuff with your hand or your knuckles, you would cut yourself and scrape yourself up. We've got a good piece of millings right here. Nice and solid, as you can see. We'll set it up, and we'll just... Breaks the thing into several pieces. Uh, impact, you feel the impact, but your knuckles are fine. There's no, there's no scrapes, no bruises. And coming on in here, you'll notice that we have not damaged the glove at all at this point. Next up, we've got some corrugated metal here. This stuff is usually pretty sharp. You see we've got the edge right here. We're gonna take the palm. And we're gonna just kind of slide our palm along here. Maybe just kind of poke in a little bit. You can see we've got no cuts. Didn't feel any of that poke through. Pretty sturdy stuff. Okay, the ultimate test in the flexibility and dexterity of the fingertips of these gloves is the braid test. And we're gonna see exactly how the gloves hold up to the challenge of the braid. And we need to get our first section here, and I think we got a, a second here, and then maybe, a, is it three? Three in a braid? Yeah, and then we do the over, and, uh, and then wrap around. Uh, yeah, I, I, we're just gonna scratch this test. Now, this is a test I've been looking forward to. Uh, before I do, San Sebastian wines, really good stuff. Never mix drinking any alcohol at all with tests like this. But when it is drinking time, good local Florida wine. Let's do this thing. We cut our wine bottle.
Well, that is one precaution. We definitely broke the bottle. We definitely cut the glove. You can see right there. What I will say though, this first outer layer protected us from getting cut on the palm. So I did a lot of scraping, a lot of cutting, and this is the only cut that we got and it stayed on the first layer. It didn't go below. So just like they advertise on the website, it does prevent from deep wounds. So that's not to say it's impossible to get a wound, but there's extra protection built in in case you were to do a nasty situation with a deep cut from a broken wine bottle or some other broken piece of glass. Okay, our fire test. Got some hot wood down here, put it in here, move some things around down in the middle. Okay, you feel the heat, for sure. But move these things around. Move some of our already burned logs in here. Well, we definitely feel some of the heat through there, but not nearly as intense as it would be without the gloves. And I do not see any melting happening. Just soot. I'm pretty happy with the fire test. Again, a little more adjustment with the fire and really not noticing any problems with the gloves. Okay, as these are advertised as being tactical gloves, obviously you'll wanna be able to use them in the field, whether that's hunting or at a range. So being able to load a clip with bullets and having the agility with the fingertips is very important. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Honestly, I'd say this probably makes it a little easier. I don't feel like the gloves are getting in the way I don't feel like they're inhibiting dexterity at all. And I feel like they actually help where sometimes crunching the metal together can, can pinch or be a little uncomfortable on those hard metal edges. There we go. Finally, that last one, always the hardest one. There you go. I do not feel like the gloves got in the way at all. I feel like they performed pretty well for loading a clip and of course the fingers aren't hurting or not getting pinched in the metal. I appreciate them in this use case. And there you have it, the tactical gloves from Top Tactical Gear. Two things I did not demo during this video. First, the water resistant capabilities. I did not show myself submerging the gloves, talking about how they dried out, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, they are advertised to be rain resistant and quick drying gloves. Take that for what it's worth. Second thing, the touchscreen capabilities. These are supposed to have optimal fingertips for managing a touchscreen phone. While I didn't demo this in the video, I shot the entire video on my touchscreen phone and in between each shot, I used these gloves to manage the screen, lock and unlock my phone, delete clips I didn't want to use. Uh, while it was not quite like the bare naked finger, uh, it was pretty good. Uh, I didn't have to like retouch multiple times too often. Um, the swiping was off a little bit once in a while, but it, it was a pretty good touchscreen experience. Next up, I wanna point out that these are not available on Amazon. There are, of course, many on Amazon that are similar from other providers, but Top Tactical Gear does not sell theirs on Amazon. You need to go to their website and that is on the screen. Also, reviews. I'm pretty big on checking out the reviews of something before I buy it. These had pretty good reviews on their website, okay? There was a good number of five-star ratings, a few four-star ratings, and only three three-star ratings, and then no two-star, one-star ratings. And when I looked at the three-star ratings, there really wasn't any big functional problem. Everybody seemed pretty happy for the most part. A couple of them were actually things about sizing being slightly off. But hey, everyone's got different hands, right? Check out the ratings yourself and make your own call there. So, my personal take on the gloves, overall, I'm pretty happy with them. They seem to be very sturdy, very durable, protected my hands in most use cases. I'd say they'd be great for range day or various other circumstances. I haven't been able to put them through the paces in cold weather, but it's hot here in Florida and they're doing well here. The only thing I would say that I wouldn't recommend them for is if you're handling a lot of sharp broken glass, well, they withstood cutting on the palms pretty well, but we did get a slice down the center. And as I went to break apart some of that wine bottle, we actually got a tiny slice in the thumb and I got a little scratch on my fingertip. That does not go against what they advertise on their website. They do say that it will prevent deep cuts and that it will protect you from most cuts and scrapes, and they did that. But if you're someone who's gonna be breaking glass with these things constantly, 
yeah, I, I'm not sure that it's quite what I would choose for that. Overall though, I like them. I'd give my stamp of approval. They withstood almost every test. They were very durable, very breathable, very comfortable. I was able to shift burning sticks and twigs and coals around without burning my hands or melting the gloves. They're a durable glove, so check them out. Do your own homework. Thank you for stopping by. I hope this was helpful. If it was, if you liked it, I always encourage all my viewers to splash it around on social media. But please subscribe to the YouTube channel and also turn on notifications. How else are you going to be annoyed every time I come out with another video on some random thing?